Good afternoon, everybody. It's Chuck, uh, Southern Fried Relic Hunt again. And you know, have you ever been one of them days, you, perfect day to go metal detecting, a nice overcast day. Temperature's pretty cool, but you just ain't got nowhere to go. Well, that's what's happened with me and Josh. We had the perfect weather and no place to go, so we're back here today at a place that we've come several times, and it's kind of one of those places that Got a lot of land with a little bit on it. And uh, the last time we was here, we got a place, found a place that had a lot of signals, but it was in a drought last year. And we just, the ground was like concrete. And it's this field right here. And uh, there's Josh. And we tried to hunt it, but we couldn't dig it. Had a lot of signals, a lot of iron. Like maybe there was a house right here. But, uh, Stuck a target right there, and it's one of these carpenter's rulers, one kind of old, kind of sweet. But uh, we're gonna get out here and swing for a little bit, see what we can find. You know, ain't expecting much, but usually when we don't expect much, that's when we find stuff. So hopefully that's the case today. All right, we'll be back in a minute. I just found something that just kind of takes it back even further. So. Show it to you. Y'all know I love flat buttons. This one's the oldest. I can see gilt. It says gilt on the back. But it's a pretty nice flat button. Pretty old one. I mean, still got the shank on it. Sweet. I'm going to take this one. Like I said, y'all know I love flat buttons. We'll be right back. Grub. Dug this nice little decorative piece of brass. I'm not really sure what it is. But uh, I was thinking it might be a lock plate cover. But it is not. It's got a nice design on it, though. Looks pretty old to me. I'll sure accept it into my pocket. All right, man. It's got to be some more. This stuff's really really turning out to have some old stuff on it it's you know like I said it was concrete last year or during the drought so we're going to have to dig it hopefully it'll have a wet summer or at least a wetter summer so we can get in here and get some of this this has really turned out to be okay all right be back well whoever lived here must have been a carpenter a piece of carpenter's ruler that I found here and uh, found another piece over there about where Josh is. And now I found another piece over this way. It's pretty old too. Let's go see what else we can find. Just to show you how good this machine is in uh, the trashy site. Well, not trashy really, but iron infested. I just dug this little gold plated. Good look, look how small that is. I just dug that gold plated thing there about three inches down in the middle of a bunch of nails and stuff. I mean, I'm not sure what this is, but whatever it is, it's tiny. And it came out of that hole about three inches down, and there's a whole bunch of nails around here. Man, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. I'm glad I got it. We'll be back. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching that video as much as I enjoyed making it. Uh, do a little wrap up here, show you what I found. Uh, let's see, right, start right here. We got uh, a couple of overall buttons. I think one of them's a Carhartt. The other one's a Union Made. We got some uh, harmonica reeds. Nice flat button. A lot of piece of brass with decorative on it. Uh, let's see. That to me looks like either a clock or a stopwatch or a pocket watch uh, gear. An odd piece of brass. This is a carpenter's ruler. Old, pretty old. A penny. And I found this. I was digging the hole and it's a worked piece of uh, flint. Like it may have been Native American trying to work an airhead out. But uh, 
That's about all we had today, but it, it was turned out pretty good because we've been thinking that this area that we've been hunting is a local park. And it's been, uh, we've hunted it before, but hadn't even found, found anything real old. We found a couple of, uh, you know, early 20th century stuff, but nothing real spectacular. But we went today and we found a little house site. It looks like it might be a little bit older, probably early to mid 1800s. Uh, now, before I go, uh, I want to show you the shirt that my daughter had made for me. A Southern Fried Relic for hunting on the front and on the back. It says, digging up history one beat at a time. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. I thought I'd share that with y'all. And if anybody, if y'all like them, I might have some made up. I'll have different colors and different sizes. And, Probably be between fifteen and twenty dollars if I, you know, get enough responses. If not, won't get my feelings hurt. Just comment below, and uh, if you're interested in a shirt, and if I get enough, I'll might have some made up. But until then, this is Chuck Smith for Southern Fried Relic Nothing. Y'all be safe out there.